I could say my first dream it is trying to get like everybody working, no, no losing jobs. El principal sueño para California, yo diría, es que tengamos suficientes fuentes de trabajo y de esa manera obviamos otros problemas. My vision for California is to strengthen our educational system and to support more small businesses to grow our economy. California is already a trend-setting state throughout the country, if not the world. We must continue to support our educational system and the small business owner. My vision and dream for California is that all Californians, regardless of race, creed, religion, ethnicity, nationality, be afforded health care as in all other industrialized nations in the world. I would like, first of all, not to be in uh, billions of dollars in debt. I think it would be very nice if we could have a budget on time. That's what we elected those you know, people to do. We have not had one that I can remember of any time. I love California. What, uh, and my vision for California is two things. One, to lower the cost of doing business here, which means lowering the taxes. Uh, two, make it a more business-friendly state. And three, uh, even though some people don't want to hear this, shrinking the government. My vision for California is to one day see it legal, legalize. Legalize the, the workers. There's a lot of illegal immigrants that are working under very um, unfair conditions. Uh, I pretty much have over 20 years in the garment industry and I've seen a lot of injustice done. I think that California needs to go back to being the great state it once was. I think that um, we have way too many problems for some, having so many opportunities to be great. I think that we, many of those problems we brought them up on ourselves and we need to change that. My dream for California is the dream, same dream that so many Americans have about being able to come to a place and have the opportunities and have the ability to make a better life for yourself and your family. And I found that within California, that's, that's all an option. Everything is there, all the things that we need in order to create that dream. The threat is our decision makers as far as how we uh, design in a decision to manufacturing here in California or manufacturing other states. In addition to that, our competitors are very um, methodically uh, looking at how to uh, take that market share in manufacturing away from us. Minus the corruption, minus the back backroom um, deals. Um, I would love for more transparency because right now it's so much work just to find out what's happening. And our constitution in California is longer than the actual constitution for the U.S., which is pretty ridiculous. Once we have crime, we have nutrition issues, which we have sometimes have not been able to solve. And I think funding for all these programs and education and labor development. I guess school districts take more control of what, what they can use, what type of curriculum, and how, how they can deliver instruction. Uh, a lot of uh, greed and politics, unfortunately. What I mean by that is I think California needs to go back to majority rule where budgets and are approved uh, by majority, not two-thirds. And I think that essentially people need to be told the truth. Probably our leaders at this point or their lack of vision for what the people want. Too much spending of money, our tax money, too much money going for frivolous uh, projects that we don't need at this time or for 10 years back. And I would like to see cut down on all the frivolous things that we're spending our money on and put it back into the uh, economy and to the community. Economically speaking, is to um, establish a set of rules so that the business community can uh, um, can live by uh, without the threat that uh, by not by not being in compliance that all of a sudden they're facing uh, massive penalties uh, and the threat of uh, closing down their business. So we're looking for a more business-friendly environment here in California. What is the role is to enhance it, to uh, provide for it, to pr make good policy that would uh, fulfill everyone's dream that way. Streamline their procedures. Make it simple to understand. Okay. Well, the role of state government, first and foremost, is leadership. 
So where's the leadership on these issues? That's the key. Uh, we need to formulate some plans. We need to address these issues with regards to small and medium-sized business. Government's role is really starting the change. We need them to take initiative. Um, we realize, we Californians realize this can't be happening overnight per se, but um, without some change now, we probably don't stand to have a good future. The government is responsible to give us more opportunities. The government is responsible for opening those opportunities to us, to make it easier for us to open a business, to make it easier for us to have employees, to make it easier for us to create companies. Because we are able to do it, and we can do it if they let us do it. The government's role should be to be cutting taxes and letting us, the people, keep more of our money and spend it the way we want instead of giving it to them. Uh, they're not as efficient. They're not very efficient. That's one. That's in terms of taxes. In terms of the environment, they can enforce a lot of the regulations that are already on the books. We don't want to get too out of control, but we want to make sure that they're enforcing uh, the right regulations to make sure that the air is clean, the water is clean, that, that it's health, uh, healthy and safe for our children and for our generations to come.